Hi there, my name is Drew Climby. I am, for 10 years I have taught SUP. I'm a Paddle Canada basic, advanced and touring SUP instructor and a basic instructor trainer. Uh, for the last two months I've been testing uh, this inflatable paddle board here. It's uh, designed and uh, manufactured by a local company, uh, We Sports. Uh, this model here is the uh, Wii Aqua 11 Wave Rider. It's 11 feet long, 32 inches across the middle, and 6 inches thick. Uh, the board itself has uh, a number of features which are super handy. Uh, it has a number of attachment points for camera or other gear that you want to attach at the top or at the nose. Um, bungees on the nose and tail which are super handy for carrying gear. And uh, the deck pad on it is cut in a way that it provides comfort and allows, you, allows it to move water off. Some deck pads are quite smooth. The smoother the deck pad, the water stays on it longer and provides more of a slipping, uh, slipping point. Uh, the board is built out of a, a vinyl. It's uh, durable enough to be uh, rugged, uh, but not add a whole lot of extra weight to the board. Uh, and then there's an additional feature, which is super nice uh, and super handy on the board, uh, which I would look for is this additional black tape that goes all the way along the seams on the top uh, and the bottom of the board. So the seams are, you know, they're welded, that they are where the deck and the rails come together. It's those seams that if they give way, or if they give, um, are pretty much impossible to repair. So the construction of the board uh, welds the seams and then this tape seals them just to give, them, give you an extra assurance uh, to help uh, prevent leaking. The cut of the board is cut, so you might be able to notice that it's wide at the center uh, where our feet are going to go, which is important, that's the 32 inches. We get a lot of surface area under the nose because it's quite a bit more rounded. But the tapering at the tail, so the narrowness to the tail, is going to contribute to speed and maneuverability. For new riders, it's going to feel less stable, um, but for riders who have been riding for a while or are looking for a faster board, this tapering is going to um, uh, do the job of that speed and to give us that extra maneuverability. On the back of the board, we have the fin system. Three fins, these are them here. Uh, removable, which is key. I would always look for this on an inflatable paddle board. Fins that don't remove, as we roll the board over and over and over again after use, tend to round and get bent rounded and bent fins um, aren't going to track as well and we start losing the stability that they're contributing to the board. So removable fins, um, durable plastic um, is a feature that uh, I really like about this board. The overall kit itself, the fins, pump, double chamber pump, super handy. Uh, gives three different settings, a high, medium, low for inflating, so if we are inflating manually, uh, we don't have to work super hard. Uh, we're going to be able to change the intensity of the pressure uh, as we're pumping it up. Leash, it's nice and durable. I've seen, especially on the entry level boards that I've seen on Amazon, the leashes that come with them are quite lightweight, don't look like they're going to last a couple seasons. Uh, this one has swivels on uh, both cuff uh, that goes around the ankle and the Velcro that goes around the board. So this is gonna last a little bit longer than some of the really lightweight ones. And the paddle's a fairly standard paddle. It does have the advantage of carbon um, uh, shaft, so it's gonna help, it, uh, help make it lighter. Uh, we have a plastic blade for durability and uh, fully adjustable. So it's gonna be able to be adjustable for multiple riders and uh, three piece, so it's gonna fit in the bag, so travel easily with the board when it's all rolled up. So, uh, that's it about the board. Uh, I would say that my experience with the board has been um, I've ridden it multiple times. I've used it in lessons. Um, brand new paddlers on the ocean struggle a little more on this one because of that narrow tail. But ultimately once you get used to it, like I was mentioning, you're going to get more speed and maneuverability, uh, which starts making up for you know, that initial feeling of instability. So if you're looking for a second board, if your first board is quite stable, you know, I would say this is an option. Um, great flat water board and still fine in the ocean once we get used to it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.